In this video, I'm going to show off a scale reference technique that I use to be able to simply, quickly write scales within Ableton Live and not use MIDI scales because of a few reasons. So let me show you. I've got this element here, right? So I'm playing a bunch of notes. Just going to show you if I use the MIDI scale, I'm going to grab, uh, let's say, Dorian mode, and I'm going to put it to C sharp. All right, so now I'm playing these elements. Okay, so I play those parts, right? Well, the problem is what these notes are is not representing what's actually being played. And this has confused me many times where I'm working with somebody else and I'm trying to tell them like what the, what the, the note is or the chord that I've just played and what I'm playing on my keyboard or different device is not what I'm actually hearing. An even better way of doing this is if I show a MIDI track, quickly set it to input from hitting bass, where that is. Set this to record and... So there are the MIDI notes, right? They're being played, they go through this MIDI scale device, they change and then they hit the instrument. Now, since I went from this recording, that MIDI track, it records after the scale function. This is what I've had to do with arpeggiations and things to actually figure out what the notes are. So if I come here, let's put it there. I'll just crop both of these so we can easily see it. So that was the original that I played, and this is what it got turned into. So quite a difference, a lot drop down a note. So I developed a new technique that I call scale references. And let me show you what that is. So I personally created a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to show you how to create them. But if I go into, let's say I'm working in Dorian, C sharp Dorian, I drag it in. So it's a MIDI clip, right? And if you zoom in, you'll see that I have a bunch of notes before the one. Now, if you set this to fold, that means it's going to only show the notes that have been used already, which since I've already put the notes of this scale at the beginning before the actual start of the mini clip, that means you now, whenever you write notes in here, they are in that scale. And that way, when you are looking you can see, oh, okay, so this is a G sharp, that's an F sharp, and so on. If you zoom in close enough, it'll even say the name on it. And I just find that a lot easier for editing and working with other people and for my own sanity of knowing what these notes are. So let me show you how to create this. It's really simple. So I'm going to turn fold off. All right, and delete all the notes, right? And what you want to do is if I have this start here, let me crop this just so you know what it looks like. So when you start, you're not going to have anything past one. You're going to have to grab your um, start position here and go negative. And once you get into the negatives, you can move this back to one. And there you go, you have your negatives. And you just draw on your notes. So. Um, this is an awesome website to find different scales. So let's say I want C and we're going to go with C uh, Egyptian. Sure. And this has the notes. So it's C, D, F, G, A sharp, C, right? So I go C, D, what was it? F, G, and I think it was A sharp, a sharp and C. Then all I need to do is duplicate. I did commit uh, control D, you can do command D and then uh, shift up and that goes up an octave. 
and I can do the same thing, shift up, up an octave and so on. And I can actually grab all these, copy, control D, shift up, up, up. I'm gonna go like that. And there we go, we got all those different notes. So now if I hit fold, Now if I hit fold, I can draw my notes within that scale. Now one thing I do like is to have them as small as possible. So what I can do is I can grab all this. We have this awesome feature where you just grab that and wow, it just shrinks it. Oh, you wanna make sure it is outside of it so it never plays that note. And then there we go, that's not nearly as distracting for me to lay down new notes in that scale. Now granted to do one of these scales doesn't take that long. Now once you multiply it times every note that there is, it really stacks up and it can be quite a lot of work. I went ahead and did this just for myself and using it in my own production, but I also have it for sale on my site. So you can either do this yourself, you got the knowledge, you know, that's half the battle, but if you want to save the time, then just grab the pack.